Well, we got some packages today, and I'm going to follow uh, all the new protocols that are being suggested, and use gloves. I'm going to put them in the garage for 24 hours so that they can quarantine. Just make sure everything's safe, and I will continue to use gloves until I get everything unpackaged tomorrow. But for now, let's get these things in the garage. Alright, so tomorrow we will open them up and we'll follow through on what we got. Should be interesting. This will be 24 hours for me, but it'll be... Hey everybody, welcome back to Zephyr Travels. In this video we're going to talk about cooking outside your RV and some of the different options you have available to you. So join me on the other side of this introduction footage and we'll get into it. So one of the fun things about the RV lifestyle is to be able to set up and cook outside right at the picnic table or wherever and enjoy your meal. And so what I've got here is three different ways you can do that. And you're probably familiar with a lot of these, but we kind of want to walk through and show you what works better than others and what's the advantage of certain ones to different ones. And, and we're getting into how we cook outside of our Airstream. So here I have your typical Coleman uh, propane camp stove and it's a two burner stove and it allows you it's very versatile it's probably one of the first things you get when you get a tent or uh, your, your first RV because you want to be able to cook your meals on it especially if whatever you have doesn't has a kitchen in it like a tent you know this would be a good option over here we have a grill and you can see this is your typical gas grill and uh, you know you can barbecue off of it just like you would at home. So this is often a very uh, common option for people who want to have that home barbecue feel while they're out on the road traveling. And then here we have an option that maybe a lot of you haven't seen before but this is a griddle. This is a Blackstone griddle and this works very nice. It, it's very versatile in that you can you know cook a steak on it or you can cook um, bacon and eggs on it or whatever you want. So let's get into each one of these a little bit more. So I will move a couple of these out of the way and we'll go one at a time. Some of the advantages and disadvantages to each of these items. All right, so let's start here with a Coleman stove. This is probably what a lot of people think of when they're thinking of camping and cooking outside. This is probably your first entry into your camping when you get your first tent or whatever however you started your camping experience you hit you start out with something like this and this is very versatile you set two burners on it you can you know put a frying pan on it like this and, and able to prepare bacon and eggs whatever you want for your breakfast you can you know cook a saucepan on here you know you've got a lot of options with this um, it does start to get a little bit limited when you want to really grill outside like cooking a steak or hot dogs or anything like that hamburgers, but you can Get a cast iron griddle like this and these sit right here And it will allow you it will heat up and it will allow you to cook a steak or hot dogs or hamburgers right on it So this does have a lot of flexibility, but there are some downsides to this one thing that you typically will find is these burners when you're using this griddle on it they tend I can maybe show you this way they tend to heat very sexually and it'll be colder in the or cooler in the middle and hot zones here and so that doesn't always work as well and plus a lot of people like the idea of being able to cook um, on a grill like they have at home they do, it does run on these propane cylinders. Um, you probably can convert this to run off the propane 
from your RV, either directly off the bottle or off the low pressure uh, port on your RV. So, like I said, this is probably a place that a lot of us start with when they start cooking outside. But as you get into bigger RVs and stuff, you've already got a stove inside the RV like this. So maybe you don't want to have this, but you want to get something a little bit more dedicated to cooking. So we'll take a look at that next. All right, so the next item is this Weber uh, Q grill. And this is a good choice because it's very compact. Everything folds up inside of it. And you can easily carry this in the back of your truck or wherever you have room for it. And if it simply opens up like this, and you've got a, a grill on here, a you know, cast iron uh, grate that you can grill your, your hot dogs or your hamburgers, steak, whatever you're cooking. You can run this grill off a propane cylinder like this. This is the way they usually come set up. But I've modified this one by allowing it to use to hook into the low pressure point on our trailer. And that allows us to cook off the larger bottles that are on the Airstream. And I don't need to carry any extra bottles around with me. So advantages and disadvantages of this. Well, obviously with the grate on here, it's gonna be difficult to cook uh, eggs. So you could add a frying pan to this, but these things really cook the best is when you can close the lid. And so as you can see, this frying pan does not fit in here very well and allow me to close the lid. So it doesn't work as well with using a frying pan on it to cook eggs or something. Now, can you use this griddle? Now you probably can buy replacement, you know, take these grates out and put a griddle on here. You know, obviously this one doesn't fit. Um, we found that it sits too high and it doesn't really heat up. And again, these things work best when you can close the lid down so that it holds the heat in there. Now let me show you the Blackstone griddle. Now if you look on YouTube, you can find all kinds of videos on cooking on these. They're very, very popular. It's really just like a diner. So you can cook on anything on this that you want. You can do eggs, you can do hash browns, you can do steak, you can do hot dogs. Though we found that hot dogs don't cook as well on this as they would on a grill. You don't get that kind of like the burnt type of uh, um, texture to them. But they do cook on this okay. Uh, this is nice because it has two H pattern burners on here and that allows you to control the heat. You can have a hot side, a cool side, plus it's very good heat distribution. They're easy to clean. You basically, this is seasoned just like a cast iron um, frying pan and then when you cook on it you just use, while it's still warm, you use a paper towel and a little bit of water and you spray the water on it and the steam just basically cleans it and you wipe it down. It cleans up very, very nicely, very easy to use. They have a little tray here that you can catch any grease and it sits here and it allows you to scrape the grease off of the griddle and into the tray when you're cooking. So you can keep the grill pretty clean from that perspective. We like this as an option and it's the direction we've been going with our Airstream. Now you can cook, use this using the small bottles of propane and that's how it comes set up with a little regulator. But we've also modified this, it's very simple. Right here is the, is the propane input. You can buy an adapter for this that allows you to attach a low pressure line and you can tap it into the tanks on your trailer and use that for your um, gas connection for this. So we've added a few accessories to this that will help with the cooking. Let me go get those accessories. All right, so here are our accessories that we purchased recently. All right, so we have here a griddle stand, which I think would be very handy for setting the griddle up at campgrounds and such. We have a little griddle caddy, which is an accessory stand, uh, 
shelf that can be attached to this that will allow us to set up the you know little bottles of oil and water that you need when you're cooking and then in here we have a propane hose that will allow us to attach to a 20 pound propane bottle so what's a youtube unboxing without an oversized knife and we have to have one so let's get these things unboxed we'll start with this so this is just a uh, five foot hose attached to your uh, propane tank here and this will go right into the regulator for the griddle standard stuff so we have uh, instructions, packing material, it pops right out. This is pretty simple, practically already assembled. The table attaches right here on the side. Like that. The legs are all adjustable and can be set to different heights. in there like that so that's that looks great real simple to set up got a little shelf here to work off of now let's slide this aside a little bit and let's check out what we got here So we have here is a little shelf that can attach onto the side of either the griddle or the stand here and allow you to put some of your different items while you're cooking. So here's a thing to pull two bottles set in there like that. I think we got some mounting hardware here. Let's check this out. All right, so we have two plates here that allow you to screw this down, some screws, and then we have some hooks that can attach across the bottom here and allow you to hang utensils and such off of this. Now this is designed for one of the larger grills, so it's going to be a little bit of an adapt. We're going to have to adapt this a little bit to make it fit onto this one, but I think it will work. We just have to figure out the combination here. And my intention is to attach it right here, just like oh, just like that. It doesn't need anything. Perfect. I don't even have to have any screws or anything. It just fits right in like that. And so that will allow me. To hang off the utensils right off the bottom here if I decide to. I think it's a great setup. I hope you enjoyed our video on different options you have for cooking outside your RV. Anywhere from the Coleman stove to a typical portable barbecue all the way up to this Blackstone grill. Now we really like our Blackstone grill. We bought it this uh, Christmas as a kind of a Christmas present for ourselves and we really like to be able to cook breakfast, put, put pancakes on here, you know, cook a steak on here. One of my favorites is to do stir fry on this. You can you can cook the chicken up in pieces and stir fry it with your sauce. And at the same time, you can even um, stir fry your your, your um, rice here. So it's it's, a, it's very versatile, and it's one of the things we like about it because you know when you have something in your RV, you want to be able to get as much use out of it as you can. Mm -hmm.
If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. So that you can click the bell so that you stay up to date with our videos. And we will see you down the road. Bye, everybody.